Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about local SEO tips and local SEO marketing for supercharging your local business in 2020. These are practical tips that you can do yourself in order to rank your local small business locally in your market online on Google. Now, this video is for local business owners that wanna take control by understanding how to improve their business website's organic rankings on Google. This is in order to essentially drive more traffic and visitors to their website, which is ultimately going to turn into leads and sales for this local business. All right, before we dive into these local SEO tips, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel, tap the bell icon, that way you'll be notified when we upload new and practical videos to help your small and local business succeed online. All right, that being said, let's get started. All right, so the first local SEO tip is all about customer experience. It's all about understanding your customer. And to do this, you need to answer three questions. First, you need to understand who is your customer. Second, you need to find out exactly what keywords they're typing in on Google to find your business, your products, your services. And thirdly, you need to understand what kind of challenges that your customers face that are relevant to the products and the services that you offer. Now, you need to understand these three questions before you can optimize your website for local SEO. For example, if you're a plumber, builder, or local electrician, you want to identify what people are typing in on Google, what your customers are typing in online to find your services or your competitors' services. So basically, there are two types of keywords that you want to identify. You have short-tailed keywords and long-tailed keywords. So short-tailed keywords would be, for example, electricians near me, uh, electricians Taringa. So Taringa is the geographical location that you operate in, for example. Um, so you'd say, you'd type in electricians Taringa. That's a key word. However, a long-tailed keyword would be a longer keyword phrase. So this could be uh, best electricians in Taringa. How do I find the best electrician? You know, so these are long-tailed keywords. Now you want to find online what uh, the highest volume is. Now you can use different tools to understand what keywords have the highest volume search so that you can target these keywords and use them throughout your content and throughout your local SEO strategy. So what you do is either head over to Ubersuggest, which is a great tool for identifying keywords that have high volumes that you can target, um, as well as keyword phrases that you can target uh, for your content for your website. You could also use Keywords Everywhere, Keywords Everywhere, sorry, which is a, a Chrome extension, which is fantastic. You can type anything on, um, you know, Google search, or you could type in anything on other search engines like YouTube, and it identifies the volume of keywords, sorry, the volume of searches for that particular keyword, as well as the cost per click and the competition between one and zero, one being extremely competitive. So these are just two tools, Ubersuggest and Keywords Everywhere, that you can use to, to identify those keywords that your customers are typing in to find your services, your products, and your business online. You want to make sure that your website and what we call on-page SEO is optimized with those identified keywords that you just did the research for. For example, electrician Taringa or electricians near me. So you want to identify these keywords and then what you want to do is you want to include them on your on-page development. Now what do I mean by this? Well, you want to include these keywords on the following. Meta title and meta description. You want to make sure that you have the keywords that people are searching for on Google and you want to make sure that these are in the meta title and meta description. Now you also want to make sure that it's grammatically correct and that it reads well. You don't just want to embed your keywords throughout the title and description just so you've got as much density of keywords as possible. You want to just make sure that there's a few keywords in the title and description so it makes sense and it's grammatically correct. Then page title. You want to make sure that you have your keywords in the page title. So jump onto your website and find out if the keywords, your main keywords that you're targeting, see if one or two of these are in your page title. Also, you want to make sure that your keywords are in your H tags, which are basically the headings you see throughout your page. So these are what we call H tags. Make sure that you have keywords within the H tags throughout all the pages on your website. 
Following H tags, you basically want to add alt tags to all the images throughout your website. Basically, alt tags are just the description of the image. So when you're uploading the image to the website, you want to make sure that you've put your keywords into the description of the image. Again, this is going to help with local SEO. And finally, the last thing you want to do with the first local SEO tip is to embed keywords throughout the content throughout your website. So if you go through your website, basically what you want to do is with all the descriptions around the services, or um, any of the descriptions throughout your website, you wanna make sure that you have keywords embedded throughout your content. Now, again, you wanna make sure that it's grammatically correct and it makes sense, but you wanna make sure that you have a decent amount of density of those keywords that you identified throughout your content. So for example, electrician in Taranga, I would have that throughout each page throughout the written content. And again, this is gonna help with on-page SEO and local SEO. The second local SEO tip is foundational citation building. And this is immensely important. One of the most important tips I'm gonna give you today is building out these citations. It's also called off-page SEO. Now, what this does is it gives you authority in the eyes of Google. Why? Because what you're doing is you're listing your business NAP, name, address, and phone number on all these other local business directories or citations that point to your local business. This gives you authority in your local market. Now, if you pop over to whitespark.ca, this is a fantastic website and platform for you to basically identify the best local citations in your country. So what I'd do is I'd head over to New Zealand because that's the country I'm based in and I'd pop down below and here you can identify the top 20 citations in your country. So in New Zealand, these are the top 20 citations that I want to add my business to, my business website to. So here, what you'd do is identify these top 20, and then you'd go on every single one. Now, this can take time and energy, so you could probably pay someone to do this because it's just quite a time-consuming task. Now, most of these citations are going to be free, and you want to add your business to as many as possible. This is going to give you kind of that local authority, again, in the eyes of Google, like we mentioned earlier. So here, an important uh, an, uh, important thing to note is basically you want to make sure that your name, business name, business address, and business phone number are correct across all these different business citations. That just shows Google that there's consistency, and that's going to help you rank locally online. So there you have it. Make sure that you sign up to these citations. Again, most of them are free. Uh, one of the best local citations is Google My Business, and this is just going to be fantastic in terms of adding your business to Google Maps and driving physical traffic as well as online traffic to your business. So there you have it, guys. Make sure you sign up to as many local citations as possible. This is going to be time consuming, but remember, uh, it's all going to be worthwhile and just make sure that you're consistent in terms of your name, address and phone number across all the different business citations. And this is going to help with your local SEO. The third local SEO tip to supercharge your local business in 2020 is to create content and social signals. Now these two work hand in hand, but basically what you want to do is attach your business Facebook page, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, Instagram, whatever social channels that you use, YouTube, and what you want to do is create content on these channels. When you create content, what you want to do is break it down from micro content. You might produce a big video on YouTube. Then you want to create kind of micro smaller pieces of content from that and post it to other platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and then you want to share those around. And that's creating content regularly. And that just shows Google that, you know, you're active, that people are responding to you, other accounts, other um, real people on social media are responding and engaging to your content. And that's what causes social signals, which is great for local SEO. So basically create content, micro and macro content. So large pieces of content could be videos, written text, audios, and then you want to share them across all these different social media platforms. And when you do that, you start receiving social signals. And that just gives you more authority in the eyes of Google um, because you're posting regularly. You're creating content. People are responding positively to the content that you're sharing. So creating content, 
Ongoing is great for local SEO and getting those social shares. So asking your friends to like and share your content is going to help you boost your local SEO in 2020. There you have it guys, local SEO tips and local SEO marketing for supercharging your local business in 2020. I hope you got value out of this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what strategies or what tips you've applied to your business to help you rank and let me know if they're working now. Remember this is going to take time and consistency, especially once you've done the foundational tips which is one and two. Once you've started producing content, which is tip three, and getting those social signals, you're going to start ranking locally on SEO. And that's going to be great. You're going to increase your leads, increase your sales, and ultimately grow your local business online. So there you have it, guys. Leave a comment down below, and we will see you in the next video.